Adventure stories for road trippers in Florida issue no one. Once in the kingdom of Materialia, there existed a community of industrious creatures known as the Coating Bears. These bears were renowned for their craftsmanship in creating exquisite layers of protection for valuable treasures using their unique techniques. Among them was a young and talented bear named Roderick, whose specialty lay in crafting cylindrical rods with meticulously layered coatings. Roderick's creations were sought after far and wide for their exceptional strength and durability. One day, as Roderick was meticulously working on his latest project, a magnificent cylindrical rod, he encountered a challenge. He needed to ensure that each coating layer was perfectly distinct, creating a protective shield for the precious treasures it would guard. With dedication and precision, Roderick carefully applied layer upon layer of specialized coatings, ensuring that each was distinct and offered its unique strength. To his surprise, when he examined the rod, he discovered something extraordinary, a stepwise profile of chemical concentration at the interfaces, indicating negligible interdiffusion between the layers. Thrilled by this discovery, Roderick shared his findings with the wise owl of Materialia. The owl listened intently and imparted wisdom upon Roderick, explaining the importance of maintaining boundaries and distinctions in life. Just as your coatings maintain their unique identities, it's crucial for each of us to preserve our individuality while working together, says the owl. Your layers teach us the value of respecting boundaries and differences, for it's in these distinctions that true strength and harmony lie. Inspired by the owl's words, Roderick continued his work, understanding that the uniqueness of each layer enhanced the overall strength of the rod. With careful precision, he sliced the cylindrical rods using a diamond saw, producing marbles that not only safeguarded treasures but also symbolized unity in diversity. From then on, the tale of Roderick's perfectly layered cylindrical rods became a fable in materialia, reminding all the creatures that preserving individuality while collaborating harmoniously could create something truly remarkable, where strength lay in the beauty of diversity, just like the layers of Roderick's creations. Once upon a time, in a bustling town called Metallurgia, there lived a young and enthusiastic metal worker named Alu. Alu loved creating things from metals and was known for his innovative ideas. One sunny day, Alu decided to embark on a remarkable journey to create something extraordinary using his favorite technique, powder metallurgy. He had heard tales of the magical metal matrix composites and was eager to try his hand at it. Gathering his tools and materials, Alu set forth on his adventure. He chose the finest aluminium as his base material and sought out a mystical substance known as Moon 3 to reinforce it. With determination in his heart, he began the powder metallurgy process, blending the elements together in precise proportions of 5, 10, and 15 weight percent of Moon 3. As he worked tirelessly, his goal became clear to optimize the process parameters and create a metal matrix composite with a remarkably low corrosion rate. Alu was focused, adjusting temperatures, pressures, and mixing techniques, all in pursuit of perfection. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months, as Alu dedicated himself to his craft. His dedication never wavered, even when faced with challenges and setbacks. 
he persisted, learning and improving with each attempt. Finally, after much perseverance and countless experiments, Alu succeeded. He beheld a gleaming metal matrix composite that shone brightly in the sunlight. Not only was it strong and durable, but it also boasted an incredibly low corrosion rate, a feat that amazed the entire town of Metallurgia. News of Alu's achievements spread far and wide, earning him admiration and respect among fellow metal workers. His creation became renowned as a symbol of innovation and excellence in power metallurgy. From that day forward, Alu's tale was told to aspiring craftsmen, inspiring them to dream big and strive for greatness in their own creations. And Alu, the young and determined metal worker, continued to explore new horizons, always pushing the boundaries of what could be achieved through the art of power metallurgy. In a land of ancient secrets and wondrous crafts, there lived a diligent artisan named Ali Tungsten. Ali Tungsten was renowned throughout the kingdom of Metal Araya for his mastery in crafting treasures adorned with layers of protection. One day, Ali Tungsten embarked on a quest to create a magnificent shield that would withstand any force known to man. Determined and skillful, he laid the shield with utmost precision, ensuring each coating adhered seamlessly to the other. His secret lay in the bond between each layer, a bond so strong it seemed unbreakable. As Ali Tungsten worked, he discovered an extraordinary phenomenon in his creations. The micrographs of his shield exhibited an unyielding adhesion between every coating layer. And upon closer inspection with the aid of magical energy dispersive X-ray analysis, a stepwise profile of chemical concentration at the interfaces was revealed, a tale of remarkable craftsmanship. Ali Tungsten marveled at this revelation and sought the counsel of the wise sage of Metal Araya, known for his ancient wisdom and guidance. He presented his findings, sharing the secrets hidden within the shield's layers. The sage listened attentively and imparted his ancient wisdom, speaking in the style of tales from distant lands, weaving words like Ali Baba's stories. Oh, noble Ali Tungsten, your shield holds secrets of unity and strength. Just as in the fables of Ali Baba and the Forty Thieves, your coatings bind together like loyal friends, each layer supporting the other. The stepwise profile of chemical concentration unveils a story of resilience, where boundaries between layers are respected, yet their union stands firm against any force. With newfound understanding, Ali Tungsten continued his craft, creating shields that stood as symbols of unity and resilience in Metal Araya. His creations were admired far and wide, echoing the wisdom of the sage's words. The tale of Ali Tungsten's shield, with its perfectly bonded layers and stepwise profile, became a legend in the kingdom, a testament to the strength found in unity and the mastery of craftsmanship. And just like the fabled stories of Ali Baba, the story of Ali Tungsten's shield lived on, inspiring generations with its enduring message of harmony and strength. In the aftermath of World War II, as the world sought to rebuild, a silent revolution began, an intricate dance of science and economics that echoed the very essence of change itself. Aluminum, once a prized metal of industry and progress, found itself entwined in a narrative reminiscent of Moore's Law, where the plummeting prices mirrored the rapid decline akin to computing power doubling. 
amidst this economic landscape, within the hallowed halls of research and innovation, a group of dedicated scholars and engineers delve deep into the mysteries of material science. Among them was a visionary, Dr. Argent, whose fervor for unraveling the secrets of aluminum strength knew no bounds. Driven by a relentless pursuit of excellence, Dr. Argent and his team embarked on a quest to understand the compressive strain percentage of aluminum, a key to unlocking its potential in the post-war era. Employing methodologies akin to the meticulous calculations of Tadichi method and the analytical precision of ANOVA, they sought optimization as fervently as alchemists searching for gold. The experiments were not arbitrary, the run order was meticulously chosen, adhering to the sacred L9 orthogonal array, a symphony of variables arranged in perfect harmony. Each trial, each iteration held the promise of a revelation that could reshape the very fabric of aluminum's properties. Yet, amidst the controlled chaos of the laboratory, the echoes of the aluminum market reverberated. The drop in prices resembled a cascade, akin to Moore's law in the realm of computing, where each dip was a testament to progress but also an enigmatic force driving the very essence of industry. The paradox was profound, the drive to enhance aluminum's capabilities clashed with the economic whirlwind, challenging the very foundation of their pursuit. The researchers found themselves navigating a tempest of innovation against a backdrop of shifting market forces. As the experiments progressed and the results began to unfold, a sense of anticipation and trepidation hung in the air. Each data point, each statistical inference carried the weight of an epoch-defining revelation. The story of this chapter in Material Sciences Saga was not just about numbers and experiments, it was a tale of resilience against the tides of change, a saga of dedication in the face of economic flux. In the corridors of discovery, Dr. Argent and his team stood as stalwarts, facing the dichotomy of progress and price, unraveling the mysteries of aluminum's compressive strain percentage, a testament not just to their scientific prowess, but to their unwavering spirit amidst the storms of history. Once upon a time in the bustling town of Velocity Valley, there lived a young and enthusiastic car named Ace. Ace wasn't just any ordinary car, he dreamed of racing in the prestigious NASCAR circuit. Ace spent his days sitting around the winding roads, practicing his turns and perfecting his speed. But there was something missing, a secret ingredient to make him the fastest, most durable racer on the track. One sunny day, Ace stumbled upon a wise mechanic named Max, who shared tales of a legendary technique known as power metallurgy. Max explained that this technique was like magic for cars, enhancing their strength and performance. Eager to improve, Ace listened intently as Max spoke about fabricating metal matrix composites. Determined to become the best racer, Ace decided to reinforce his aluminum frame with 5, 10, and 15 weight percent of mood 3 using the powder metallurgy route. With Max's guidance, Ace embarked on a journey to upgrade himself. He underwent a transformation, each percentage of mood 3 adding resilience and strength to his frame. As Ace raced around Velocity Valley, he felt more agile, more powerful than ever before. The day of the big NASCAR race arrived, and Ace ruined his engine, feeling a surge of confidence with his enhanced frame. 
the objective of winning was clear in his mind as he zoomed onto the track, the cheers of the crowd echoing around him. The race was intense, cars whizzing past each other, but Ace held his ground. His reinforced frame withstood the challenges of the track, the twists and turns, just as the power metallurgy technique had fortified him. As the finish line approached, Ace found himself neck and neck with the leading car. With a burst of speed, he surged ahead, crossing the finish line first amidst a roar of cheers and applause. Ace has won the race, achieving his objective and becoming a legend in Velocity Valley. His journey taught him the power of determination and the magic of innovation through power metallurgy. From that day forward, Ace was known as the car who triumphed through perseverance and the incredible enhancements of the metal matrix composites. And in every race he won, he shared the tale of power metallurgy, inspiring other cars to reach for their dreams with fortified strength and unwavering determination. High impressive strength, that's the goal, you see, 300 MPa pressure, 400 degrees Celsius the 15 weight percent mu 3, let it be. Switch it up for compressive strain, let's refine, 5 weight percent mu 3, watch the numbers align, at 250 MPa pressure, still hot at 400 degrees Celsius, this combos the magic, just wait and see. High compressive strain percentage, that's the aim, 250 MPa pressure, 400 degrees Celsius, aimed at a claim to fame. Pressure and temperature, the tools of the trade, mix in that MU3, for strength, it's custom made, compressive strength and strain, we're reaching new heights, with these powder metallurgy feats, we're owning the nights. So remember these numbers, the heat, and the might, in the world of strength, they are shining bright. 300 MPa, 400 degrees Celsius, the story's told, high compressive strength and strain, a tale to behold. In a world where metals reign supreme, there existed a tale of unlikely love between tungsten and titanium. Tungsten, known for its strength but marred by brittleness, lived a solitary existence. It longed to break free from its limitations, to be embraced not just for its resilience but also for its durability in matters of the heart. Enter titanium, a metal renowned for its versatility and endurance, yet seeking something deeper, a partner whose strength matched its own, a soulmate in the realm of metallurgy. Their paths crossed in the abstract realm of metallurgical endeavors, where the potential of tungsten as a structural material was explored, but its brittleness remained a barrier. The hitherto efforts to enhance tungsten's toughness had yielded limited success, leaving it yearning for more. Amidst these trials, tungsten and titanium found solace in each other's company. They shared a common desire to break free from their confines and achieve a union that transcended the boundaries of their inherent traits. Driven by a shared longing, they embarked on a journey seeking to enhance tungsten's properties. Through meticulous exploration, they discovered that by optimizing process parameters, they could unlock new dimensions for tungsten, dimensions that encompass not only its strength but also a newfound resilience against corrosion and an elevated compressive strain percentage. 
their love story intertwined with the pursuit of perfection as they delved deeper into their metallurgical pursuits they realized that their partnership was more than just about enhancing material properties it was about pushing the boundaries of what was deemed possible defying limitations and embracing the strength in their unity with every experiment, every adjustment of process parameters, tungsten and titanium grew closer. Their bond mirrored the transformative nature of their work, evolving, adapting, and becoming more than the sum of their individual characteristics. In the end, their story wasn't just about metallurgical achievements, it was a love story, a testament to perseverance, unity, and the beauty of finding strength in each other's differences. Tungsten and titanium stood as a symbol of an unbreakable bond, embodying not only resilience in materials, but also in the enduring power of love and partnership. Once upon a time in the ancient city of Metaloria, where the echoes of history resonated through time, there lived a renowned archaeologist and doctor named Dr. Metal. Dr. Metal was not your typical doctor. His expertise lay not in healing bodies but in unraveling the mysteries of ancient artifacts and the evolution of metallurgical techniques. Dr. Metal spent his days amidst the relics of the past, poring over artifacts that whispered tales of Roman occupation and cultural influence. His quest was to understand how the manufacturing processes of the Briar, late pre-Roman Iron Age, transitioned into the 2nd century AD, showcasing the persistence and innovation in production. In his study, surrounded by ancient scrolls and fragments of history, Dr. Metal pieced together the puzzle of how Roman culture had left an indelible mark on the craftsmanship of the era. Through meticulous comparison and analysis, he unveiled the subtle yet profound ways in which the Roman occupation had shaped the manufacturing techniques of Metalloria. Amidst his scholarly pursuits, Dr. Metal encountered a particular set of artifacts, exquisite jewellery that bore the unmistakable stamp of Roman influence while retaining its unique Metalorian essence. These artifacts, from delicate pins to ornate adornments, were not just items, they were windows into a bygone era, each carrying a story of its own. As Dr. Metal delved deeper, he discovered that these artifacts were more than mere objects. They were reflections of a recognizable style and form, meticulously crafted yet deeply rooted in tradition. Even a single pin for holding clothes resonated within a corpus of similar objects, each with its unique characteristics defining its recognizable style. In his quest to unveil the secrets of these artifacts, Dr. Metal found himself fascinated by the intricate combinations of type and aesthetics that define their unique styles. These items, though sharing similarities, boasted distinctive features that set them apart, creating a tapestry of innovation within tradition. Through Dr. Metal's tireless research, the ancient craftsmanship of Metalloria was brought to life, bridging the gap between eras and cultures. His work didn't just unearth historical facts, it painted a vivid picture of persistence, innovation, and the enduring legacy of craftsmanship in Metalloria. And so, Dr. Metal's scholarly journey continued, his passion for uncovering the past a testament to the intricate interplay of history, culture, and the enduring craftsmanship that defined the ancient city of Metalloria. Once upon a time, in the heart of Florida, amidst the bustling Department of Traffic Control, there worked a diligent and passionate engineer known as Dr. Metal. 
Dr. Metal wasn't just an expert in the intricate workings of materials. He possessed a heart that yearned for a love as enduring as the metals he studied. Amidst the corridors of the Department of Traffic Control, Dr. Metal's mind was consumed by his research on tungsten, a metal that held immense promise for high temperature applications but remained constrained by its brittleness below a certain temperature threshold. While delving into the complexities of metallurgical methods to enhance tungsten's toughness, Dr. Metal often found solace in his breaks by observing the traffic flow outside the department's windows. Little did he know that fate had woven a romantic narrative into his life, waiting to unfold. Enter Sophia, a traffic controller with a radiant smile and a power charm for bringing order to the chaotic streets. Sophia's eyes sparkled with determination, much like the refractory nature of tungsten that Dr. Metal was so engrossed in studying. Their paths crossed one fateful day when Dr. Metal found himself seeking a breath of fresh air amidst the controlled chaos of the traffic department. He watched as Sophia expertly maneuvered the flow of vehicles, her grace and poise akin to the heat removal capability of tungsten in demanding environments. Their interactions began with casual exchanges, conversations about the weather and traffic patterns. But as they spent more time together, Dr. Metal found himself drawn to Sophia's resilience and unwavering dedication to her work, much like the thermal shock resistance of the metals he studied. As their bond deepened, Dr. Metal discovered that Sophia held a keen interest in his work. He shared his passion for metallurgy and the pursuit of enhancing materials like tungsten, unlocking its potential beyond its brittleness. With Sophia's support and encouragement, Dr. Metal's research flourished. He found inspiration in their conversations, often drawing parallels between the complexities of his work and the intricacies of control and traffic flow. Their love story unfolded against the backdrop of metallurgical breakthroughs and the rhythm of traffic signals. Dr. Metal realized that just as tungsten had the potential to surpass its limitations, so too could love transcend barriers. In the end, Dr. Metal and Sophia's story was a testament to the intertwining of passion and perseverance. Through their love, they discovered that just like the alloys enhancing tungsten's toughness, their bond grew stronger when tested by the challenges of life. And amidst the corridors of the Department of Traffic Control in Florida, a love story blossomed, one where the resilience of materials and the resilience of the heart merged, forging a tale of enduring love and mutual admiration. Sophia was more than just a traffic controller, she was a woman of remarkable depth and passion. Beyond the control of chaos and traffic, her life unfolded in chapters of resilience and an unquenchable thirst for knowledge. Born into a family of artisans, Sophia's childhood was immersed in the world of craftsmanship. Her father, a master jeweler, instilled in her an appreciation for the intricate details of creation. It was in this upbringing that she found a deep connection with the metallurgical world Dr. Metal was so engrossed in. Sophia's fascination with metals went beyond her career in traffic control. Her evenings were spent engrossed in research papers and metallurgical journals, diving into the complexities of copper single layers and the potential of copper forward slash tungsten multilayers. Her curious mind sought to understand the interplay of these materials, the very essence of which Dr. Metal was so fervently exploring. 
As she delved into her studies, she discovered a profound interest in fabricating simple filament composites through magnetron sputtering and CVD processes. Her passion for understanding the interfacial parameters between these materials led her to conduct meticulous fiber push-out tests and investigate microscopic fracture features, an endeavor that echoed Dr. Metal's own pursuits. Sophia's thirst for knowledge was matched only by her determination. She poured herself into her research, often spending nights analyzing fractographs and conducting finite element simulations to estimate plastic strain in copper layers. Her dedication knew no bounds, driven by a desire to unravel the mysteries that lay within the heart of metals. However, beneath her scholarly pursuits lay a romantic soul yearning for a connection that transcended the confines of academia. Her encounters with Dr. Metal brought a spark into her life, igniting a flame of admiration for his dedication and intellectual prowess. Their conversations, initially centered on traffic patterns and metallurgical intricacies, gradually blossomed into moments where their hearts intertwined amidst the complexities of their shared passions. It was in the union of their pursuits, where Dr. Metal's quest for enhancing tungsten's toughness intersected with Sophia's fervor for understanding material interfacial parameters, that they found a profound connection. Their love story unfolded as they merged their passions and shared their dreams. Dr. Metal was captivated by Sophia's depth of knowledge and her unwavering dedication to her research. And Sophia, in Dr. Metal, found a partner whose intellect and resilience mirrored her own. In their shared pursuit of metallurgical breakthroughs and the pursuit of understanding the essences of copper and tungsten, they found not only a professional camaraderie but a deeply romantic connection, one that transcended the boundaries of their research and stirred the deepest recesses of their hearts. Sophia's journey was a tapestry woven with threads of passion, resilience, and an insatiable thirst for knowledge. Her story began amidst the chaotic beauty of Mumbai, where she immersed herself in the world of flight aircraft operations air controlling, mastering the art of navigating the skies and orchestrating the flow of air traffic with precision. But beneath her professional pursuits lay a childhood passion, a spark that ignited when she first encountered the wonders of metallurgy. Her father, a master jeweler, introduced her to the intricate world of craftsmanship, fueling her fascination with metals as their innate mysteries. Sophia's inquisitive mind propelled her towards deeper explorations, studying the interplay between inherently and non-inherently dissipated uses of materials. Her research delved into estimating the dissipation of elements during their life cycles, distinguishing between streams of material flows that were planned for dispersion into the environment and those currently deemed unrecyclable due to technological or economic barriers. Her academic pursuits led her to the bustling corridors of the Department of Traffic Control in Florida, where she honed her skills in orchestrating the movement of vehicles. But her heart beat not just for the rhythm of traffic signals, it pulsated with an unspoken desire to unravel the enigmas of metallurgy. As Sophia delved deeper into her metallurgical research, her path intertwined with Dr. Metal, a dedicated and passionate researcher engrossed in enhancing the properties of tungsten. 
Their encounters started as professional discussions, delving into the complexities of metallurgical breakthroughs and the evolution of materials. Dr. Metal was captivated by Sophia's depth of knowledge and her unwavering dedication to her research. Her passion for understanding material flows and dissipation resonated with his own fervor for unlocking the potential of metals. Sophia, in turn, found solace in Dr. Metal's intellectual prowess and his relentless pursuit of innovation. Their bond grew beyond scholarly discussions, it blossomed amidst shared dreams and mutual admiration. Dr. Metal, fascinated by Sophia's multifaceted background in air controlling and metallurgy, found himself drawn not just to her intellect but to her unwavering passion for understanding the essence of materials. Sophia, in Dr. Metal, discovered a partner whose resilience mirrored her own, a kindred spirit whose quest for excellence paralleled her own aspirations. Amidst the complexities of metallurgy and the intricacies of material science, their connection solidified, a union that merged not only their shared passions but also a spark of love that transcended the boundaries of their academic pursuits. Their love story, a tapestry woven from childhood passions, scholarly pursuits, and shared dreams, was a testament to the enduring power of intellect, resilience, and the unspoken language of the heart. In the corridors of research and amidst the traffic control of Florida, Dr. Metal and Sophia found not just a partnership but a profound and deeply romantic connection, one that shimmered with the brilliance of their shared passions and the depth of their souls. Amidst the ancient sands of Egypt, Dr. Metal and Sophia embarked on a journey, not just to study the mysteries of metallurgy but to immerse themselves in a tapestry woven by the whispers of history. Their quest led them to the heart of Egypt, where they delved into the enigmatic world of submicron thick ceramic coatings and the engineering intricacies of interfaces. Dr. Metal and Sophia's research focused on unraveling the secrets concealed within these coatings, seeking to understand their impact on energy dissipation and the strength of tungsten composites. As they studied the extensive push-up tests, an aura of excitement enveloped them. The coated interfaces revealed a considerable amount of energy dissipation, a revelation that sparked their curiosity and fueled their pursuit of deeper knowledge. In the midst of their scholarly endeavors, Dr. Metal stumbled upon a piece of ancient hieroglyphics, an inscription tucked away in a forgotten corner of an ancient temple. It was as if fate had guided his hand to uncover a critical piece of history, a piece that seemed to resonate with the very essence of their research. As he deciphered the hieroglyphs, Dr. Metal's heart raced with anticipation. The ancient symbols seemed to speak of a quest for knowledge, an understanding of interfacial energy dissipation akin to their own research. It was a catalyst, a striking connection between their modern pursuits and the ancient wisdom preserved in these sacred inscriptions. The hieroglyphics hinted at the conquest of knowledge, of unlocking a piece of critical understanding that transcended time itself. Dr. Metal's heart swelled with the realization that their research was not merely about metallurgical advancements but an exploration that echoed the quest for enlightenment embraced by the ancients. Sophia, captivated by Dr. Metal's discovery, joined in the deciphering, her eyes alight with wonder. The ancient texts seemed to resonate with their current findings, unveiling a profound connection between the pursuit of knowledge in the modern era and the ancient yearning for understanding. 
as they combine the ancient hieroglyphics with their contemporary research, a newfound clarity emerged, a convergence of their studies, bridging the gap between ancient wisdom and modern exploration. The text served as a catalyst, inspiring them to delve deeper into the mysteries of metallurgy and its echoes in ancient history. Their journey through Egypt, once intended solely for scholarly pursuits, had transformed into an odyssey, a union of ancient wisdom and modern exploration. Dr. Metal and Sophia stood at the intersection of time, where the pursuit of knowledge and the quest for enlightenment intertwined, forever altering their understanding of the mysteries they sought to unravel. Dr. Metal sat in his cluttered office, the hum of machinery and the flickering of computer screens surrounding him. The air was charged with anticipation as he meticulously drafted an email, his heart pounding with excitement and a touch of nervousness. He was about to reach out to one of the most innovative minds of our time. With a steady hand, he composed a message, detailing his research on copper coatings and the interfacial parameters identified in his experiments. It was a scientific inquiry, a culmination of tireless work and relentless dedication. He hesitated for a moment before pressing send, but the click of the mouse echoed through the room as the email winged its way to an address that held the promise of opening new doors. Days passed, and Dr. Metal buried himself in his research, the anticipation of a reply simmering at the back of his mind. Then, like a bolt from the blue, an email notification flashed on his screen, a response from Elon Musk himself. The email was concise, yet the significance was immense. Elon Musk acknowledged Dr. Metal's work, expressing interest in the intricacies of the copper and tungsten coatings. He requested further details and hinted at the possibility of discussing the findings in person. Dr. Metal's heart raced with excitement and disbelief. He wasted no time in composing a detailed response, pouring his insights and research findings into the email, outlining every microscopic fracture feature, every experimental procedure with precision. The following days were a whirlwind of anticipation, every moment tinged with the anticipation of a potential call. And then, like a cosmic symphony playing out, Dr. Metal's phone rang, a number he recognized instantly. With trembling hands, he answered the call. A voice that resonated with vision and determination spoke on the other end, Elon Musk himself. They delved into discussions about the coatings, the implications of the research, and the potential for innovation in materials science. As Dr. Metal shared his insights, Elon Musk's curiosity was piqued. The conversation delved into the depths of interfacial parameters and the possibilities they held for transformative applications. Ideas flew back and forth like lightning bolts, a collision of brilliance and innovation. The call concluded with the promise of future collaboration, a testament to the power of scientific inquiry and the convergence of minds driven by a relentless pursuit of knowledge. Dr. Metal sat back in his chair, a sense of awe and elation washing over him. What had started as an email had blossomed into a thrilling interaction with one of the greatest visionaries of the age. In that moment, Dr. Metal realized the true power of scientific exploration to transcend boundaries, to ignite conversations, and to pave the way for groundbreaking discoveries. 
Dr. Mebel and Sophia embarked on a thrilling journey, tracing the scenic landscapes of Florida en route to their rendezvous with Elon Musk at the secluded hideout near Cape Canaveral. The road twisted and turned, taking them through forgotten towns frozen in time, where billboards of yesteryear's cigarette ads loomed in faded glory. Amidst the nostalgic haze, they stumbled upon a quaint little Chinese buffet tucked away in a corner, seemingly untouched by the passing years. The air was thick with the aroma of oriental spices, beckoning them to explore this relic of culinary nostalgia. Inside, the decor screamed of an era long past, red and gold lanterns adorned the ceilings, while faded paintings of serene landscapes adorned the walls. The clinking of silverware and the hum of conversations from a bygone era filled the air. Sophia clutched the printout of Elon Musk's email, a tangible reminder of their impending meeting with the visionary. As they savored the flavors of dim sum and chow mein, their minds buzzed with anticipation and excitement for what lay ahead. Outside the window, the Florida sun cast long shadows over the worn-out signboards, each a testament to a time when cigarette ads reign supreme. The contrast between the past and the imminent future they were about to step into was palpable. With bellies full and hearts brimming with anticipation, Dr. Metal and Sophia resumed their journey, leaving behind the forgotten town and its timeless Chinese buffet. Their destination, a little-known office near Cape Canaveral, where Elon Musk awaited, their minds buzzing with ideas and possibilities. As they drove, the landscape shifted, and the excitement in the air was tangible. The meeting with Elon Musk was not just a professional milestone, it was an intersection of innovation and inspiration, a moment destined to carve a new chapter in their pursuit of knowledge and groundbreaking discoveries. Scene opens in a dimly lit Chinese restaurant adorned with artificial ferns and aged cigarette butts. Dr. Metal and Sophia sit at a table, a dim spotlight casting shadows on their faces. Dot. Dr. Metal, adjusting his glasses, his tone laden with intellectual fervor, the results, Sophia, they confirm the validity of the numerical simulations. Jerry et al, in their pursuit, established a contact model of high density powder, employing discrete element numerical simulations on the Yard open source software system. Sophia, leaning in, her voice resonating with curiosity, and the outcome, Doctor, did their results align with our multiparticle model? Dr. Metal, nodding, a subtle gleam in his eye, precisely, Sophia. The alignment was uncanny, almost as if the forces of fate conspired to harmonize our research in Devoros. Their DEM simulations mirrored our own findings, affirming the robustness of our approach. Sophia, furrowing her brow, pondering the implications, so, Dr. Metal, dare I infer that our path to understanding the intricacies of high-density power dynamics is elucidated through these congruous outcomes? Dr. Metal, his voice resonates with a hint of poetic gravitas, intricacies indeed, Sophia. These numerical symphonies, composed in the realms of Yard, whisper secrets of power dynamics that echo in resonance with our own endeavors. The resonance, my dear, it speaks volumes of the validity we seek. 
Sophia, taking a moment, her eyes alight with realization, a symphony, you say, Doctor? A symphony of particles dancing to the tunes of numerical simulations, a cacophony of discoveries unveiling the hidden cadence of high density powders. DR. Metal, smiling, a glint of enthusiasm in his eyes, indeed, Sophia. For in the depths of these numerical ballets lie revelations that shall guide us towards the mastery of power dynamics. Our pursuit, akin to unraveling the enigmatic verses of a cosmic libretto. They exchange a glance, the din of the restaurant fading into the background as their minds immerse themselves in the dance of scientific discovery. The scene fades to black, leaving behind an aura of intellectual intrigue and the promise of discoveries yet to unfold. DR. Metal and Sophia engage in an intense discussion, their brows furrowed in concern as they dissect the complexities of the narrative on generalized plastic mechanics. Perspiration glistens on their foreheads, a testament to the gravity of their conversation. Dot. DR. Metal, in a tone wrought with puzzlement, this narrative on generalized plastic mechanics, Sophia, it's perplexing. Had Blad et al. and Ericsson et al. conducted numerical simulations on the compaction of titanium powder within silicone molds. The correlation between their obtained density distributions and the optimal size design of the press blank, there's an enigmatic consistency that eludes comprehension. Sophia, frowning, her mind immersed in the intricacies, indeed, Dr. Metal. Their research delves into the depths of powder compaction, unraveling the mysteries of density distributions and the optimal parameters for pressed blanks. But the confluence of their findings with our own interpretations, it's a conundrum veiled in cryptic parallels. As they exchange their concerns, a diversion catches their attention. A white dog and a black dog, both dressed in hip-hop attire, saunter into the restaurant. The clinking of their chains resonates amidst the ambience, drawing curious glances from patrons. Sophia, startled by the unexpected sight, her gaze fixated on the dogs, Dr. Metal, do you see that? Those dogs, they seem out of place in this quaint establishment. And the sound of Chinese voices rising from the kitchen, it's as if a peculiar discord has woven itself into our discourse. DR. Metal, raising an eyebrow, his curiosity piqued, indeed, Sophia. It's an uncanny intrusion. But let us not be distracted from our pursuit of understanding. The narrative on plastic mechanics, their revelations hold the key to unlocking the elusive mysteries we seek. As they attempt to refocus, the black dog emits a howl that reverberates through the restaurant, echoing the words kicking it in a hauntingly melodic tone. Simultaneously, a kitchen hand responds in Chinese, matching the frequency in Sophia's head, causing her pupils to dilate in an unexpected response dot. Sophia, her eyes wide, a sense of disorientation washing over her, Dr. Metal, something feels amiss. The resonance of those canine howls and the cadence of those Chinese voices, it's as if frequencies are converging within my mind, intertwining with our discussion. They are momentarily enveloped in a surreal atmosphere, the weight of the scientific narrative mingling with the inexplicable intrusion. 
Yet, despite the distraction, their pursuit of understanding remains unwavering. Dot. The atmosphere inside the Chinese restaurant buzzed with the intensity of scientific discovery as Dr. Metal and Sophia delved deeper into the text, discussing the economic utilization of fly ash and its implications for environmental mitigation in India. Their voices crescendoed in enraptured tones, poised on the brink of an epiphany. Dot. Dr. Metal, pointing to the text, his voice rising with excitement, Sophia, the potential of fly ash, cement making, brick making, even precious metal recovery, it's an urgent call for environmental mitigation. India's utilization, a mere fraction, while the rest is discarded as waste. The chemical composition, the possibilities, it's a symphony of innovation waiting to be orchestrated. Sophia, nodding in agreement, her eyes alight with fervor, indeed, Dr. Metal. The wealth of resources within fly ash, untapped and discarded, presents an opportunity for transformative environmental change. The composition data, the potential utilization, it's a key to unlocking a sustainable future. Their conversation, on the brink of revelation, is abruptly interrupted by the sudden silence that descends upon the bustling restaurant. A hush falls over the patrons as the sound of a black, oversized limousine splashes through a puddle of water and oil, screeching to a stop just outside the front door. The sheer closeness hints at intention rather than mere coincidence. Dot. The doors of the limousine swing open, and out emerges a dark figure in a black cowboy hat, the unmistakable silhouette of Elon Musk. He strides towards the broken glass front doors of the restaurant, an air of unassuming grandeur surrounding him as if he were a space cowboy stepping into a wild western saloon dot. The two dogs, their jaws agape in astonishment, drop bits of special fried rice onto the table. Simultaneously, the occupants of the restaurant, including a green elf forest maiden peering through the window beside Elon Musk, mirror a collective state of shock and surprise. Dot. Amidst the surreal scene, the air crackles with a fusion of intrigue, curiosity, and a sense of otherworldly presence, as if destiny itself had orchestrated this enigmatic convergence. Dot. Elon Musk strides into the Chinese restaurant, an aura of cosmic curiosity and intellectual fervor surrounding him. He pauses, surveying the eclectic scene with a glint of intrigue in his eyes. As the patrons stare in amazement, he begins to orate, seamlessly synthesizing the contents of the email and a newfound theory burgeoning in his mind. Dot. Elon Musk, gesturing with a charismatic flair, his voice resonating with the energy of a visionary, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed scientists, and curious minds alike, I stand before you not just as an entrepreneur of technology, but as a seeker of the enigmatic threads that weave through time and space. He seamlessly bridges the narrative of regional identities in Roman Britain's jewellery and the evolving theory of cultural amalgamation, as if stitching disparate threads into a grand tapestry dot. Elon Musk, with animated gestures, his words painting a vivid picture, consider the intricate craftsmanship of Roman jewellery, a testament to regional identities and a convergence of Britonic and Roman styles. The brooches, the finger rings, they bear witness to a synthesis not merely of materials, but of diverging identities expressed through design. 
he pivots, seamlessly linking the theory of cultural transition to a new realm, the methodologies of Gosden, 2005-193194, on periods of transition, where relationships between people and material objects burge and dot. Elon Musk, his voice rising with conviction, Gosden's revelations on transitions, the emergence of relationships between humans and their objects. But what if, beyond these transitions, lie secrets tied to ancient Egypt? Secrets that resonate with the geographical nature of the pyramid-based structure, the very makeup of the Earth it rests upon, the patrons lean in, mesmerized by Elon Musk's fusion of historical narratives and emerging theories, a seamless blend of ancient histories and futuristic possibilities. Elon Musk, his eyes alight with passion, imagine, if you will, the interplay of ancient Egyptian electricity production interwoven with the pyramid's geological connectivity. A synthesis that transcends epochs, uniting ancient craftsmanship with the elemental forces of the Earth itself. The atmosphere crackles with an amalgamation of historical intrigue, scientific fervor, and the audacity of futuristic possibilities as Elon Musk's words hang in the air, a bridge between ancient mysteries and cutting-edge conjectures. Sophia's gaze shifted from Elon Musk's captivating oration to Dr. Metal, her eyes reflecting a mixture of intrigue and puzzlement. She observed the Doctor, referred to henceforth as Doctor, with a sense of admiration and curiosity, wondering how he perceived the enigmatic words woven into the narrative. As she exchanged glances with Doctor, her attention was momentarily diverted by the forest main elf, a mystical figure with sticks entwined in her hair and garbed in verdant attire. Sophia caught a glimpse of the elf signaling hurriedly to the two dogs, their noses buried in a feast of special fried rice. There was an air of urgency, a silent conversation transpiring between the maiden, the dogs, and Han, the displant. In a surreal moment frozen in time, Sophia watched as the two dogs stealthily slipped away from the restaurant, their exit unnoticed by Elon Musk, who remained engrossed in his narrative. With a cautious elegance, they made their way to a white Toyota Prius rental car parked discreetly amidst the bustling scenery. Tribes. Sophia's eyes widened in surprise as the dogs, unseen by Musk or anyone else, gingerly climbed into the Prius. There was a sense of purpose in their movements, a mission veiled in secrecy. With a gentle hum, the Prius glided into motion, vanishing into a sky painted green, adorned with floating hot dogs and waffle burgers, a surreal departure into the unknown. The peculiar scene unfolded like a whimsical tableau, leaving Sophia in a state of bewilderment. As the forest maidens whispered secrets lingered in the air, a sense of intrigue and mystery swirled around the unexpected departure of the dogs. In that fleeting moment, amidst the Dickensian tones of the restaurant and Elon Musk's narrative prowess, a fragment of an unexplained tale had unfolded, a departure etched in the mystique of the unknown. In summary, the recent moments unfolded in an intricately woven tapestry of surreal happenings, blending scientific narratives, surreal encounters, and enigmatic departures. Sophia, caught between reverence for Elon Musk's oration and her profound connection with Dr. Metal, observed the unfolding events with a mix of admiration and curiosity. 
Meanwhile, Dr. Metal found himself suspended in the space between admiration for Elon and an unspoken affection for Sophia, his Balkan features carrying the weight of admiration and fondness for both. Now, turning to the text in hand, Dr. Metal and Elon delved into a discussion, weaving a narrative about British jewellery unique to the early Roman occupation period. The prevalent cultural theories attributed changes to the appropriation of Roman culture or the introduction of a Roman market, yet these theories failed to fully encapsulate the innovative developments and continuations during the late pre-Roman Iron Age. Their discourse transitioned seamlessly to a text detailing the colossal volume of fly ash generated in India, posing a significant environmental challenge. The necessity for a systematic and planned scheme for its utilization emerged as a pressing need, emphasizing the potential to convert wastes like scrub sludge into valuable resources. As Dr. Metal and Elon dissected these texts, a realization dawned that beyond the narratives lay uncharted territories where historical mysteries intersected with environmental urgencies and where the amalgamation of cultures echoed through the ages. And amidst this conversation, a new narrative began to unfurl, an exploration poised at the crossroads of history, environmental responsibility, and the ingenuity of resource utilization. In this amalgamation of scientific discourse and societal imperatives, the quest for understanding expanded beyond the confines of mere academic pursuit. It ventured into the realm of actionable knowledge, where the convergence of historical contexts and contemporary challenges demanded innovative solutions for a sustainable future. In the midst of a scientific discourse that echoed across eras, Dr. Metal's voice boomed like the echo of a cannon. Elon, old friend he began, with a twinkle in his eye that bespoke secrets buried in dusty tomes, these cultural theories fail to encapsulate the full symphony of influences. Bricolage and cultural appropriation dance a waltz, but their steps fall short in explaining the grand ballet of influences shaping ancient societies. Elon's eyes widened with understanding, mirroring the flickering light of a saloon lantern in the Wild West. Yet before the cosmic alliance of their thoughts could meld further, Sophia, with fork and fire in her eyes, unleashed a ground-shattering revelation. You all ain't seen the half of it, she exclaimed, her voice thundering through the din like a symphony conductor rallying the orchestra. This here research holds the key to an eternal fusion, a secret that even O'Neillan thought he knew. The tension crackled in the air like a shot from a cold revolver. Sophia's discovery, akin to a cosmic shift, echoed the legends of a secret once sought in the depths of Minsk by Elon in the ancient 97. As Sophia unveiled this revelation, the atmosphere shifted, the winds of change rattled the saloon doors, and the spirits of the Wild West danced with the scientific fervor of the cosmos. The revelation, a vault of lightning in the twilight sky, heralded an imminent convergence of historical secrets and futuristic innovation. In the midst of this volatile tableau, the quest for eternal fusion emerged, a quest that transcended time, melding the echoes of the past with the aspirations of the future. And within this tumultuous symphony of revelations, the legends of the Wild West intertwined with the cosmic dance of scientific discovery, forever etching their mark on the fabric of time. 
Once upon a time, in a land where copper and tungsten were tales of pollution and scientific wonder, there lived a wise trio, Dr. Metal, Sophia, and Elon Musk. They embarked on a journey of discovery, unraveling the mysteries of environmental research and metal coating marbles. In their quest, they stumbled upon the wisdom of Nirai, Nagpur, learning of methods to manage toxic sludge from copper industries. They marveled at how copper, while noble, birthed environmental woes when mingled with toxic elements, echoing the dangers of mining and refining. Meanwhile, Elon Musk, with the wisdom of chemical profiles and sliced tungsten rods, unveiled the secrets of negligible diffusion between coating layers, a marvel of scientific finesse. Amidst this scholarly pursuit, the trio found themselves in a quaint Chinese restaurant where the owners, bowing in respect, offered a mountain of special fried rice and vintage Pepsi Cola. It was a nostalgic feast from ADS, a gesture of honor for their pursuit of knowledge. In an unexpected turn, Elon Musk extended an invitation to the launch pad in Cape Canaveral, where he dwelled in a temporary bunker 20 miles away. The trio, filled with childlike curiosity and scientific zeal, eagerly accepted the invitation, ready to witness the wonders of space exploration. And so, armed with newfound knowledge, a belly full of fried rice, and a thirst quenched by vintage cola, Dr. Metal, Sophia, and Elon Musk set forth on their next adventure, a journey to the launch pad, where mysteries of the cosmos awaited their inquisitive minds. As Sophia, the embodiment of scholarly grace, was gracefully ushered into the oversized limousine, the Chinese restaurant workers waved farewell with fervor akin to a Fourth of July parade. The air was electric with anticipation as the trio, Sophia, Dr. Metal, and Elon Musk, prepared to depart for the next chapter of their journey. Amidst the flurry of excitement, the discussion lingered on the esoteric depths of technological constraints and alloy choices, intertwining the tales of copper, zinc, tin, and precious metals. The lexicon of brass, bronze, and copper danced through their conversation, revealing the secrets of alloy distinctions, each alloy telling a story of its own. The driver, Alu, graced the scene with a wide grin and eyes brimming with enigmatic knowledge. Hi, I am Alu, your driver, he chimed with a tone reminiscent of an Oxford companion unveiling a treasure trove of ancient wisdom. As the limousine began to glide into the unknown, the air was thick with the scent of scholarly pursuits and cosmic revelations. The trio embarked on a journey where alloyed mysteries and technological marvels intertwined, a voyage promising to unravel the enigmatic tale of ancient metal use and metallurgical brilliance. And with a tantalizing cliffhanger, the limousine disappeared into the horizon, leaving behind a trail of anticipation and scholarly intrigue. The next chapter awaited, a journey into the annals of history and innovation, where alloys whispered secrets as the cosmos unfolded its mysteries. Thus, like an Oxford companion with its pages left open for the next curious reader, the tale paused, a moment frozen in time, ready to resume its narrative in the endless expanse of the cosmos.